Hey everyone, welcome back to the winter postcard series. Today we are painting this cute little birdhouse in a snowy background. So these are the materials that I will be using. And these are the watercolor shades that I am using for this postcard. So we start with a very uh, basic sketch of the birdhouse and the mountains behind it. So I'm just going to have some simple mountain here and then this is the main bowl for the birdhouse. This is another one from Pinterest. So I saw this on Pinterest, this cute little birdhouse and I just wanted to try it out as a postcard. So we're just going to create a very simple outline. So this was kind of a crooked house. So it's slightly at an angle. So this is how it was in the picture and I just wanted to retain it that way. We are almost done with this. I'm just going to add a little bit more detail over here. Next we start with the background. So I'm just wetting the paper where we have the sky. So starting with just the top part. Next we drop in the cerulean. So we're going to have a very hazy kind of sky in the background. And while it's still wet, I am adding in a little bit of ultramarine at the very base. So we are trying to create somewhat uh, a similar effect to what we did in the first postcard but the focus here is going to be on the birdhouse which is the main uh, subject that we have in the foreground. So this is just some more hazy background that is there. If you feel that it's giving some rough edges just use a clean brush and blend this top part like this and we are good. Next we add the snow in the foreground. So I'm just using a very light wash of the same ultramarine. A little bit just to show some shadows in the snow. No details as such. We're going to add some trees here in the background as well. So they're going to be darker. For now just adding this and letting it dry. Okay, once the paper is dry, we start working on the birdhouse itself. So I'm using a very light wash of burnt sienna to start with. We'll add in the late uh, details like the wooden texture etc later on. For now, we just add in a very light wash of burnt sienna at first and then drop in a slightly darker value while it's still wet to add some texture. Alright, so now the wooden texture part has to be done mainly wet on dry, all the detailing. So I'm going to leave it like this and start working on the background part. So here we have a couple of trees. So I'm using a nice dark value of indigo to create these trees similar to what we did in the first postcard. Just some bare branches. I'll add another one just next to this. So I'm, again, I'm using a rigor brush to get this kind of a thin stroke.
okay i guess we are done with these trees now for the next part uh, again in the background i just wanted to add a little bit more detail so i'm just doing these very simple straight kind of strokes to show that there are some trees in the background as well i'm using the same indigo color but not like really pigmented i'm just using whatever is left in my brush And towards the base, I'm just adding some little more detail. Again, using the same indigo. Now, this birdhouse also had this wired fence along with it. So, I'm again using my rigor brush to add these little details in the foreground. So all of this being in the foreground, it's uh, much darker. So I'm just using a very dark value of indigo to create this effect. I just feel like adding a little bit here to the background so using the leftover indigo I'm just dabbing my brush here at the base alright so I guess it looks good now I'm going to start with the birdhouse so for this particular part I'm just again using indigo to show that it's dark inside so just filling it up Now we start with the birdhouse uh, details of, or the wooden texture. For this I'm using the burnt umber and just drawing these simple lines next to each other. Same for the base part, I'm using a uh, burnt umber and adding this simple texture you can add some swirls here and there but since this is a very small area uh, you can simply just go ahead with these lines and a little bit of swirl to give that uh, wooden texture kind of effect next uh, moving on to the roof I am again using a burnt umber to create a slightly darker roof like this Maybe I'll add it to the base of the birdhouse as well. Alright, so I guess it's looking good now. It's taking shape. Adding some outlines to this birdhouse. We'll also be adding the wooden texture here as well. So using the same technique. We use a burnt umber and just draw these simple lines, gaps and swirls to mimic the overall texture of wood. And we are done with the birdhouse as well. So next I am going to be dropping in some snow onto this. And we'll also be adding a lot of snow to the birdhouse roof and these little spaces. So 
where the snow gets collected. Some on the roof. And some at this very top part of the bowl. If you want you can add in a little bit more towards the background but I'm just uh, dabbing in the white gouache here and there and I'm gonna leave it like that. And we're done with the postcard so I hope you enjoyed this see you in the next one.